to, uh, well, I should jump at the chance to introduce Madonna this morning and, of course, the Bay FM Health Hour. And you've got a special guest in this morning too, Madonna. No, Good morning to you first. Good morning. How are you, Paul J? Very well. Very Excellent. Christmassy. Yes, yes, yes. <laughs> it's only a few weeks away. Oh, you got your earrings on. I do. The Chrissy earrings. How are my Christmas bells? <laughs> oh, I'm going to get some of those. Oh, no, yeah. wouldn't, work wouldn't work. So I'm here this morning with Robert Coombs, who's an acupuncturist and a... Practitioner in Universal Consciousness, but we'll get to that in a minute. So firstly, the acupuncture. You've been doing it a few years now, and there's a lot of people out there, especially with, there's a bit of negative press out there with all natural therapies at the moment because health funds are disappearing in a year or so. Mm. And acupuncture and naturopathy and massage, they're all disappearing. Mm. So people just have to get used to that over the next 12 months, not getting any rebates. What do you say to people who say that acupuncture is... Junk. Yeah, junk, <laughs> that it doesn't work, uh, that it's got no yeah. research. Well, um, You feel like slapping them, yes, yeah. but... <laughs> yeah. um, well, the evidence is there. Um, with acupuncture being, um, you know, I've got a bachelor degree in health science, majoring in acupuncture, so it wouldn't be accepted in the education system as much as it has if the evidence hasn't given it enough proof yes. of its effectiveness to help with more things than just um, manual therapy, uh, musculoskeletal, and uh, also uh, emotional yeah. imbalances as well. So, And I suppose it is the structural things, the pain that people often see you for yeah, first with yeah. acupuncture. Uh, pain, stress, insomnia, headaches, um, and people that just can't relax. Yeah. Yeah. So what... How, so someone who, ha, ha, okay, let's take me, fear of needles. <laughs> <laughs> bom, bom. Um, with needle phobic people such as yourself, um, I can use acupuncture in a way that doesn't cause harm. So a good acupuncturist knows how to hit the right points and cause a, uh, a healing response without um, causing any pain. Right. So rather the opposite, relieving the pain. But um, sometimes there is um, the odd occasion where uh, a pin can hurt, but it's more like a, a not even a bee sting, more like a mos- like a mosquito bite can be um, how it can be described. But also there's what we call a when we've really activated the acupuncture point is what's called the dirty sensation, and that. Der Qi is what the Chinese called when we've actually activated the energetic system that um, the acupuncture activates to trigger off the healing response. Right. Yeah. Okay. Because, and I have had several sessions of acupuncture. I made him do really gentle acupuncture on me the first few times. Yeah. And, but at the time I had a 10 out of 10 in foot pain and yeah. uh, I did that and I had four mm. days pain free which I hadn't had in eight months mm. which was amazing yeah. and then the second one it lasted yeah. months and months mm-hmm. so it, it so what does it do so uh, obviously people would say well how how does it how does it create that sort of healing response the beauty of acupuncture um, with its root uh, uh, in Chinese medicine there's two ways that we can explain acupuncture and how it works and what it is so from the traditional Chinese medicine um, perspective, how I describe this activation of Der Qi. So the, um, within Chinese medicine, the underlying principles of um, its medicine and philosophy is that the universe is made up of the substance called Qi that permeates all life throughout the universe. And it has its active and um, unactive uh, substance or nature where it's both yin and yang, and that yin and yang energies being light and dark have this um, uh, harmonious interdependent and interrelationship of the universe that um, shows up in our own physical body and the way that we live our lives. Just like how um, when we're born, we, we enter in the yang stage of life, so we grow up, we re- and we go through adolescence where we develop ourselves and then we, um, on all levels, we develop ourselves on the physical, the mental, the emotional and also the spiritual. And then when we reach about our mid-age, um, then we start to go on our decline, which is the yin phase of our life where we 
take what we have learned and go into our, our wise stage of our age. Huh. So there is this natural process that uh, of rising and falling, which is the waveform in science and quantum theory that I'll we'll touch about touch on a little bit later, that permeates all things in nature, and that's right. what the the medicine is based on. With um, they just call it chi. Um, so we use this activation of chi to rebalance what's going um, or going wrong within the body. Right. And that can happen with, um, it can be trauma, whether it be physical, mental, emotional, or it can be just um, supporting the natural process of um, development, reproduction, and also through the decline into, you know, when we pass away. Okay. So that's the Chinese medicine perspective. Of yes. It, with, um, but from and of the course sign- we're looking at 8,000 years of history yeah, with yeah, acupuncture absolutely. as well. Yeah, so there's, yeah, there's a massive amount of um, history behind it that gives it so much weight. And it's, it was in the 60s or 50s where um, Western um, civilization began to take note of this. You know, how does this acupuncture thing work with um, the first explorers in, in uh, Western explorers into China and taking it back to, uh, um, I think it was the French first and um, the Europeans, and um, they, what they were sharing over there, more uh, it gave it more, um, oh, you know, credibility, credibility or, is a yeah. great word, yeah, yeah, and um, so then started the science aspect of it. So how does it work? Yes. So then with with the Western medicine model, we we just with the research that has been done using um, clinical trials, we've been able to map out what acupuncture is doing on a cellular yeah. um, and um, subatomic level. Yeah. So, and what it is doing on a cellular level is uh, causing the inflammation response to when, especially when there's an injury, to step into the next phase of healing yes. and relaxation. The body heals best when it's relaxed, when it comes out of its um, uh, fight and flight mechanism yeah. and into its rest and digest. Yeah. So what acupuncture helps to do is to help, especially if a client has um, is dealing with a lot of stress or pain that keeps, or in a relationship or an environment that puts them in a, a high stressful situation and keeps them on that high stressful situation for a, a, a high amount of time, then they're going to be drawing on what we, um, your, your adrenals and yeah. um, your, all the other hormones that keep supposed to help you through those stressful situations. But over a long time, as you know, that depletes you. Yes. So the body needs to get back into its um, rest and digest um, status. So what the acupuncture has been shown to do is to help trigger that on a well, a much quicker level than uh, or faster rate than not having it. Yeah. So it helps the, um, yeah, the body to heal itself. And is that, um, uh, sorry, there's different types of acupuncture. So Absolutely. you do regular acupuncture and esoteric mm-hmm. acupuncture. Is yeah. that more with stress yeah. that you do the esoteric um, acupuncture or? The esoteric acupuncture can help on a, a physical and emotional level, but um, with the esoteric acupuncture, so esoteric means what, what is hidden. Right. So with um, an exoteric is what is commonly known. So okay. with um, esoteric, so it's more of a helping the client to go more deeply within themselves to find out where these blockages are turning up on either a, it can be with a belief system that they hold within themselves, it can be through an event that has happened in their life, um, particularly like uh, trauma, yes, um, betrayal, um, abandonment, and even loss and grief, like a loss and grief of a role model in their life that they tended to look up to and that's just been taken away from them. So for the esoteric then, does yeah. someone need to come in with a goal or a challenge or it's a always, particular... Yeah, absolutely. Uh, an intention helps with the... Um, uh, the unfolding of the journey. Yeah. Yeah. So um, when I uh, have a client with, in particular, with an esoteric acupuncture, it's like, okay, what are you looking for? And to peel back the layers of what the client is really looking looking for, yeah. can, it, it can take not just one session. Um, 
it's like you know as the ad analogy goes with peeling the layers off an onion yeah it's it is as simple as that yeah and as one layer gets peeled off the the healing takes place and the wisdom and insight has been learned and integrated into their life then the next level just shows itself and this is an ongoing journey that we um we're here to experience in this lifetime as yeah. a human being yeah yeah yeah, beautiful. Yeah. So with the with the uh, regular acupuncture, if I can call it that. Yeah. Uh, so you obviously see people for a lot of pain and mm. that sort of thing. So if people have chronic pain, it's the type of thing that can start turning the pain receptors. No, the yeah. the infl inflammation within the cells into healing within the cells. Yeah, yeah. So um, releasing the inflammation, getting it moving, and. Um, not only in a local level but a systemic level yeah. so um if someone's like i was actually talking to a friend last night he's been he's got chronic shoulder pain it's like and he's been seeing an acupuncturist and I've, i had to ask him okay what sort of points is he using um is he getting giving you the is he testing your muscles um which are in pain or is it a muscle that's um, radiating to another area where you're re you think you're receiving the pain, where it's actually somewhere it's coming from somewhere yeah. else. So the you know the, the old uh, referred pain. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So people with a referred pain think um, that's where the treatment should be. That's yes. where it's got to happen. Whereas you know if you do the right muscle testing and um, passive and active movements with the client, you can really pinpoint which muscle is the the, the causative. Um, factor yeah. within the inflammation and then we treat that accordingly yeah. as well as any um, what we call uh, satellite at our trigger points that are being activated by a chronic condition um, and so we treat those as well as okay. well as the meridian system that is a uh, basically a, a flow of energy that um, yeah, is a network of energy that's interconnected with the organ system so um, to explain, touch on that a little bit more is this interconnected system connects with our organs and our on not only the physical level, the functional level, but also the emotional and spiritual yeah. level. So, it's um, yeah, it's pretty in depth um, medicine. Absolutely, and there's many areas where you can um, uh, like specialize. Yes, because of it too. Yeah. Yeah. Mm. So much like different surgeons can be, you, know, you can go through a medical school and be like a, a general practitioner. You yes. Can also, there's also many, many opportunities out there to specialise in, uh, yeah, yeah. There's so many uh, areas. Yeah, I heard an acupuncturist speak at a congress a couple of years ago and he works at a hospital in Sydney. Oh, great. And he particularly, it's oncology acupuncture that he does. Yeah. And the surgeons would never ask his opinion on anything. The oncologist yeah. would never. And it was almost like the patients would have to be at such a bad state where yeah. they would be discussing with him, yeah. you know, with themselves. And they would say, have you spoken to Dr. <laughs> so-and-so? Yeah. And then he would be brought in and he mm. would bring in so much data from China and say, yeah. this is the research on this sort of yeah. cancer, this is the research, this yeah. is how we can help. So, yeah, um, in, the, in support of that, with the, the, the history of Chinese medicine that, you know, sees it is a science, but it's a different kind of science yeah. to what we're used to and educated, you know, yes. through our schooling years where it's um, it's always about, you know, the smallest level is the, the atom and the molecule where Chinese medicine is more about all energy is always moving. It's not, you know, and this is where the, the, the uh, quantum theory comes into it as well. So um, what's happening is that uh, what we're starting to understand about um, quantum theory and physics is that it's very much um, leaning towards what the Chinese has been talking about with their medicine yeah. how everything is in a way format and then it's not until we observe it that it um, collapses into the particle yeah yeah so the the atom itself is uh, made up of subatomic particles <laughs> that are in a continuous wave form and it's not until that we observe what we we believe to be uh, matter is a collapsing of the waveform into the particle. It's amazing they're getting mm. to that sort of level with yeah. research yeah. these days. Have you ever had acupuncture, Paul J? I have, and I was just thinking, uh, thinking about the poor people who go, <gasps> no, pins, oh, pins, yeah. pins. And, and really, quite honestly, it's, it's no worse 
if it's uh, as bad as this, about getting a prick with a uh, rose bush. Yeah. No, you know, no that's know, right. No, it's, it's, it's less than that, isn't it? Yeah, it's less well, than that. Well, my question is actually, like the areas that are particularly painful with the acupuncture needles, is there something particularly congested there or is there... Like, what's going on when a point is particularly painful? Okay. Um, depending on the area of yes. the body, like your hands and your feet are the most sensitive. Yeah. Um, you know, areas. I was very and, proud yeah. of myself. It was about yeah. eight needles in my foot when yeah. I had that. He took a photo <laughs> proof. <laughs> I put it on Facebook. I was so proud of myself. Yeah. Everyone who knows me with needles. Yeah. 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 It was huge. Yeah. So yeah. those are the common areas well because we've got so many nerve plexus right. uh, areas you so know, it's about the nerves it's very tactile they're, they're our tactile parts of our body yes. where we we feel things yeah mm. and um also our face as well uh are very uh, sensitive too but when um like in a musculoskeletal condition where a muscle is very tight and can be tender with um trigger points then that um that in Chinese medicine is a sign of what we call stagnation. Yeah, so that's what, yeah, that's what I was an, sort of thinking. There's an accumulation of qi and blood in that area that can be caused by either a, um, a fullness or an emptiness. So this is whole the, this um, perspective of yin and yang. So right. yin being a deficiency and a yang condition being more of a stagnant right. full energy. So, okay. yeah, yeah, so what we aim to do is, you know, um, the... A deficiency can be caused by a stagnation, and a stagnation can be called uh, be caused by a deficiency. <laughs> so it's like, okay, well, what are we going to? What do we need to do to yeah. move it? So yeah. we we address the deficiency first, or do we release the the stagnation? Absolutely. Yeah. So we got to identify where the um, problem is. Yeah, where, where, yeah. where the cause is, the root cause, yeah. and that's what we're doing with um, Chinese medicine and the acupuncture is discovering what the root is and fabulous at the same time while we um discover the root we also treat what's called the branches so yeah. the symptoms the signs and symptoms of yes. what the, what's the cause fabulous yeah. we might take a quick break there yes well, well, i've just got one question oh yes yes now, now acupuncture is coming out of china right yeah that's its origin that's where its origins comes from yes yeah, if you were buying it to get it in so you you, you needed it maybe yours i don't know or maybe Madonna's, do they have the instructions in there in Chinese or English? <laughs> <laughs> That's my question. Yeah. Yeah, no, That's the thing about the human body, though. Yeah. Yeah. All right, well, listen, we'll have a break and we'll come back with, uh, with um, Robert and also Madonna very shortly and finding out some 